love me, but I ain't been feeling it lately You say you love keeping me fly, but can't keep me from looking so crazy Coming at six in the morning, where you been, where you been? Who is that text on your phone? Just a friend, just a friend Okay, my intuition never lies Hey Queens, it's Gabby. I'm back with another video. So today's video is part three of my lace series. This is the last video for the series. So if you haven't checked out part one or part two, I'll have those linked in the description box. Be sure to check those out. Now today is a wig making tutorial. This unit is being made by me for someone else. So I've already adjusted the circumference of my blockhead to match theirs using clear tape. All right, once you've got that all measured out, we're ready to proceed with the rest of the tutorial. So here is the mesh dome cap and I purchased this at my local beauty supply store. So I'm just going to go ahead and slip this on the block head and we're going to get started with the frontal placements. All right, so there's the frontal. Now, frontal placement is really key to having a great um, wig install in the end. So what you want to do is pull the frontal in front of the dome cap, maybe about a half inch or an inch and a half in front, and then you just want to pin it down. And make sure that it's even on both sides. Now, don't worry about the lace being wrinkled in the front. You're most concerned about your pin placement in the back because that's going to dictate whether you have a flat install or not. So when you're pinning down in the back, make sure that you're pulling the lace taut and that it's laying flush with the black wig cap. You don't want any lumps or bumps when you go to part the hair later on. So just make sure that it's laying completely flat and that there are no bumps in the lace. All right. Now once you're satisfied, just go ahead and either sew left to right or right to left in the back of the frontal. All right, and now I'm just gonna start sewing my wefts. Now I don't cut my wefts until I get to the very, very top of the head. So I'm gonna show you how I fold and secure my fold and then proceed to continue to sew um, up until I get to the portion of the unit where I'm going to actually cut the wefts, all right? So you're gonna see that in just a moment. All right, so I'm gonna put my fold there. Now what I like to do is grab the loop there so as you can see my stitch is where I want the fold to be but I'm gonna take that excess loop and I'm gonna go ahead and just twist it once and go under with my needle you can either go under or over um, but this is going to actually make a very very secure knot and once you pull on the hair it's not going to go anywhere so you know that that's secure okay now you can do that one or tw once or twice, um, but after one time, I found that it was pretty secure. All right, now when you when you're doing the fold, make sure that you're pressing down the fold with your fingers, just kind of trying to mold the fold and making sure that the hair will lay the way you want it to lay. And while you're doing that, you also want to uh, figure out where you want your other track to lay. All right, so that's what you see me doing here. And once I'm satisfied with where the track is, I'm gonna pin it in place. And then I'm gonna proceed to um, lay down the fold a little flatter. All right, so I am turning the head and I'm grabbing the thread and I'm gonna focus on that corner first and then we're just gonna proceed like normal with the um, sewing motions, okay? All right, so focusing in on that corner, you want to just push it through, push the needle through the corner and make sure that the knot actually gets right on the corner there. And I'm gonna do that a few times and even knot it at the end of my, I think my third time. So just keep on watching and you'll see how I make the knot and then just proceed with the installation. 
Uh, if you missed anything, definitely just rewind and um, go back. Uh, but it is, you know, it's pretty simple for you to secure that fold. And once you've got that fold done, you can just proceed like normal. All right. So that's what you see me doing here. I'm just figuring out where I want that fold to be. And I'm folding the west all the way up until I get to the very top. So here is the top of top portion where I'll be basically making the wefts parallel to the lace frontal. All right. So you want to make them completely um, parallel up until you get to the final weft. And I'll show you how I did that in just a moment. All right. So as you can see, my last track is right up against the lace frontal and it is not going anywhere. So that's how you want to finish your installation. All right, guys, so this is the fullest install that I've ever done. <laughs> this hair is really, really beautiful and I just love the color. Now, if you haven't already checked out my previous video, I show you how I colored this hair. I show you how I um, bleached the knots on the lace frontal. So definitely check those out. But this hair is absolutely lovely and I think it's going to be amazing, especially with summertime being around the corner. So the final step is honestly to take the hair off the wig um, block and we're going to cut off that excess cap underneath. All right. So remember when I told you to pull the lace frontal in front of the um, dome cap? It is because um, we are going to start to cut off that excess cap. Now, when you start to cut, you want to make sure you're about, a, I would say, an inch um to an inch and a half away because you still want to keep some of that cap secure so that you can keep everything in place. All right, so that is the final step for this process. Now, obviously off camera, I'm gonna go ahead and just cut the lace off around the um, hairline, but this is really it, guys. Here's a look at my stitching. Absolutely amazing wig, and I think that my client is going to love it. And this is just the final result. I'm showing you how it looks on my head. It feels amazing. I just absolutely love the way this hair is laying. I definitely might have to purchase this hair for myself. But guys, I really hope you uh, enjoyed this video. Be sure to follow me on all of my social media. Also, subscribe to my channel. I'll have videos uploaded every single week. It was so nice chatting with you guys. I'll see you in my next video.